AITA for telling my sister I would say, I told you so if she gets cancer? Sorry for errors. English is not my native language. I. F27. Really enjoy motocross. And although I'm an amateur I spend a lot of my time and money on it. My sister. F31. Has always kinda despised the sport. She is always saying that it's dangerous and that I shouldn't be doing it because I will get hurt. Three weeks ago I fell on a jump and broke my ankle and shattered my knee. It is still unsure what kind of recovery I will make. And I was. And still kinda am. Mentally in a bad place as well. Like I said, I really love drifting around on my motorcycle and I would be devastated if I can never do it again. When my sister came to visit me at the hospital, the first thing she said to me was, I told you this would happen. I was shocked by this. Especially because she did not say anything else after that. No empathy or compassion at all. It almost seemed like she was happy to finally be proven right. Now on to the part where I think I might be the asshole. For context, my sister has been smoking cigarettes for the past 14 years. I have never really said anything bad about it. Except for when she asked about it or tried to convince me of the benefits of it. So when she said, I told you so, to me at the hospital. I replied with, nice response. I will remember it for when you get lung cancer. She got incredibly upset, called me a bitch and left. I have not spoken to her since. But I have gotten some angry texts from our parents saying that I crossed the line. I don't stand behind what I said because I would never do that to her if she would get lung cancer. But I meant it more as an example to show how insensitive her comment was. AITA? TLDR. I injured my leg during motocross and my sister said, I told you so. So I said that I would say the same thing to her if she gets cancer for smoking. Your comment wasn't great, but I'm still going to go with NTA. Pulling an, I told you so, on someone with an actual injury while they are lying in the hospital. Fresh off the trauma is worse than a remark in return about hypothetical illness. I can't stand people who dish it out but go crying to anyone who will listen when they get a fraction back in return. NTA. She can't tell you, I told you so, and then get offended if you claim that you will do the same. NTA and, I didn't cross the line. I punted her back to her side of it, is the response to anyone who claims you did. NTA. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. If your sister is willing to dish out advice like that, she shouldn't be surprised when the recipient mirrors her behavior. Visiting someone in the hospital and greeting the patient with, I told you so, sure takes some gall. Especially for a hobby. Would have been different if you did something illegal. But participating in motocross? Nope. She was way out of line. NTA. You didn't even do it. You just told her that you would do it if she gets cancer. She on the other hand did do it. I really don't see how anyone can be upset about this. What she did was way worse. Also, I'm a smoker myself but, tried to convince me of the benefits of it. WTF is this BS? NTA also kind of a banger comeback. NTA, I think you were justified. She's hurt BC she got a taste of her own medicine person shrugging. I feel like this is a situation where neither of you win, or even look good. Was your comment mean? Sure, but you were talking about a hypothetical scenario meanwhile she did it to you after your accident. I DC what people say it's nowhere near the same thing NTA. NTA. My sister died from lung cancer from smoking. I never had to say, I told you so, because I'm sure she told herself that a million times before. She died. But flipping your sister's own words back on her hypothetically was a perfect way to respond to her. In that situation. 
NTA and I absolutely love your reply. NTA. Honestly I would have said worse and had said worse while in pain and on painkiller. Because I guess you're where on those. NTA. I'd be tempted, and petty, to really remember this for later use. If she did ever get it and you said that. Why TA? Because cancer is a lot more life-threatening than a shattered knee. Until then. NTA because it's a hypothetical situation. NTA and she probably will get lung cancer from the cancer sticks. It's not a matter of opinion. But nowadays if you choose to smoke it really isn't, I told you so. Doctors will say it. This is siblings banters but unfortunately with more serious consequences for the both of you. To me, NTA because 1. She started it and 2. She smoked knowing cancer can be a consequence. You both should just apologize to one another. But she should be starting. You're NTA. She set the tone on that one. She needs to learn that she will get back what she gives to others. I'm a cancer patient. No family history or risk factors known so far. And I think your sister deserved the reply. You like motocross. It's your hobby and a good thing to help you get in a nice mindset. It's risky, but not unhealthy. Meanwhile, smoking is a bad habit. It's her choice, but she has been trying to sell it as something with benefits for years. And knowing her late sayings. No, you're NTA. Ash, this has been really blown out of proportion and both of you are acting immature. If you're both going to say stuff like this, don't be mad when the other retaliates. I think this answer is fine. It's witty, and it shows her what the lack of compassion she just displayed will feels like. You didn't cross a line in my opinion. Was your answer nice? No. Was it inappropriate or out of line? Also no. NTA. Tried to convince me of the benefits of it. Sorry? The benefits of cigarettes? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.